yarn that I'm using for this project is the Karen Macchiato Cakes. I actually took the label off of this one and I'm not sure what I did with it. So I'm going to show you the label for the same yarn just in a different color. So this is a weight five yarn. It calls for a six millimeter crochet hook. There is what the label looks like. So I am using this green color. I am sizing up to an eight. I sized up because my personal tension is usually a little too tight. I would recommend sizing up one to two full hook sizes. So to get started, I'm going to make a slip knot. Insert my hook. And I'm going to chain 30. This is going to be the width of our scarf. I just finished chaining 30. Now we're going to turn over our chain. And we are looking at the back of our chain. We have these little bumps behind each stitch. So now we are going to go to this first bump, go under, pull up a loop, and keep that on your hook. Make sure that if you didn't size up as much as I did, that you're keeping these loops pretty loose. You want to make sure that it won't be too hard to get back through when we come back. So now we're going to go to the next bump in the back of the next stitch, go through, pull up a loop, and keep that on your hook. Now we're going to go to the next back bump, go through, pull up that loop, and keep it on your hook. So we are going to keep going through every back bump all the way down. So I'm going to keep going and I will meet you when I get a little bit closer to the end of our chain. I'm getting pretty close to the end here. So I'm just going to keep going through the back bumps. Now we are at the last one. Go through, pull up your loop. So this is how mine looks. So now that we have all of our loops on our hook, we are going to go back. We're going to do a pass back this way. So we are going to yarn over and pull through that first loop only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And we're going to keep going, pulling through two loops until we get to the end. So I've got three loops left. I'm going to pull through two. Two loops left. Pull through two. So this is how mine looks now. So we are going to skip this first vertical bar every time. We are never ever going to go into that first stitch. So now in the next space, you can see there are two vertical bars. So you can see that there's a front bar and then a back bar behind it. So all of them should have a front and a back bar. So it's a little bit easier to see if you just pull your work apart like this. You can see the front and the back bar. So I am going to insert my hook between the front and the back bar like this. Pull up a loop and I'm keeping it pretty loose. I wanna stay consistent with how big my loops are, but I'm keeping them pretty loose, especially for the first few rows. I find it really important to keep these kind of loose because it can make it curl a lot more if you do a tight first few rows. 
So going into that next stitch here, you can see the front and the back bar go between them. Make sure you're going between the front and the back bar and not between the stitches. So we can see that front and back bar go through the middle, pull up a loop, keeping it pretty loose. Now the next stitch, we're going to go between that front and back bar, pull up a loop, next stitch, go between those two bars, and pull up your loop. So this is how we're going to continue all the way down. So I am going to keep going until I get a little closer to the end, and then I will meet you back here. So we are almost to the end of the row here. So I'm going to go into that next stitch, pull up a loop. For our last stitch, we are going to turn our work, and there are two bars here on the end. We're going to go through behind both of them. And pull up a loop. So we just finished the forward pass. Now we're gonna go back. So pull your yarn through that first loop. Now we're gonna go back the same way we did the last one. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and we are gonna keep going, pulling through two all the way down. So I'm on my last two, so I'm gonna pull through. So here is how mine looks now. So we are going to repeat that and this is how we are going to make the length of our scarf. So again, we're going to skip this first bar and then go to the next one and go between the front and back vertical bars, pull up a loop. Find the next set of vertical bars, go between them, pull up a loop, and keep repeating this all the way down until you get to the end. So I'm going to keep going and then I will meet you back. So I just completed my last set of vertical bars. So I'm again at the end. There are these two bars here at the end. I'm going to go under them both. Pull up a loop. Now I'm going to go through this first loop and start going through two loops all the way down until I get to the end. So this is how we're going to continue making the length of our scarf. We are just going to repeat that process doing front and back passes. You can kind of see that knit pattern starting to show up. So you are going to keep repeating those steps until your scarf is the length that you would like it to be. I'm making a blanket scarf, so I'm going to keep going until mine is about 70 to 75 inches, but you can make yours any length that you would like. The typical length for a scarf is between 60 and 65 inches, so if you want yours to just be the regular non-blanket size, I would do 60 to 65. So I am going to do a few more rows and then I'll do a check-in and show you how mine is looking, but this is it so far. So I will meet you back here in a few rows. I've finished a few rows. This is how my scarf is looking so far. The bottom and the top are kind of curling up a little bit. That's totally normal what happens. I always just block my projects afterwards and that really helps them to flatten out. So far I've got about seven inches, so we still have quite a way to go, but this is just about what it should look like at this point. So I'm going to keep going and repeating those forward and backward passes until I've got between 70 and 75 inches for my scarf, and then I will meet you back here and show you how we finish off the edge and tie off. So I kept going until my scarf was a length that I'm happy with. So we are now going to finish off this edge of our scarf. 
So to do that, we are just going to be using a slip stitch. So just like we would for our regular knit stitch, we're going to go in between those two bars, pull up, and then pull through your loop to make a slip stitch. Again on the next one, go between the two bars, pull up, and pull through to slip stitch. So this is how we're going to go across the entire border of our scarf to finish off. So you can see that it's starting to look the same way that the other side does. So I'm going to continue slip stitching across the border of my scarf and then I will meet you back here to show you how to tie off and we will start making our tassels. All right, and just like as if we were doing a regular knit stitch, when we come to this last space, we're just going to go under both bars, pull up and slip stitch. So I've made it all the way across my border. I am now just going to tie off the way that I normally would and cut off my working yarn, leaving a tail long enough to be woven in. So if you want to, you can just leave off right here and just weave in your ends and you are finished. But I am going to add some tassels to my scarf. So to create tassels, you will need scissors, something to wrap your yarn around. I'm using one of my business cards, but you could use really anything at all. In the past, I've used notebooks, index cards, pieces of a cardboard box. You could really use anything as long as it's pretty flat. And you'll have to keep in mind that the length of whatever you choose to wrap your yarn around is going to be the length of your tassels. So my business card is about three and a half inches long. So my tassels are going to be about three and a half inches long. So once you've chosen whatever you're going to use to wrap your tassels, you are just going to take your yarn hold it against what you're wrapping it around and we'll wrap it one two three four five so I wrapped mine five times. I don't want my tassels to be super, super thick. So that's why I chose five times. But if you want really dense tassels, you could just keep wrapping until they are as dense as you would like them to be. But I'm going to keep mine at five. So to make my tassel, I'm going to cut off the working yarn and just try and keep a hold on it so it doesn't slip. Insert my scissors and just cut the yarn so that it's no longer attached at the bottom. So now I'm going to take my yarn off, keeping it in that kind of U shape. So now coming over to the end of our scarf, I am going to go between stitches for the tassels. Starting off at the corner, you can see that there's a V a V here and a V here. I'm going to insert between those two V's and put the middle of the U shape of that tassel on to my hook. It's okay if you don't keep it completely perfect. You won't really be able to tell, but just try your best. Now I'm going to pull through and I'm going to pull a loop up pretty high just to make it a little bit easier for myself. Take my hook out. So now I've got this loop. I'm going to insert my fingers and just grab the length of the tassels and pull them through. And now I'm just going to pull to adjust them. So there is one. I think the tassels just really help to make your scarf look a little bit more finished and it also can really help cover up any imperfections 
or looser stitches that you may have on the end. So I'm going to be placing my tassels every three stitches. So I went in between these first two V's. So now I'm going to count between the next spaces between the V's. So one, two, three, and insert my hook. So there will be three V spaces or three V stitches, one, two, three, between the space we're placing our tassel. So I'm going to repeat the steps that I used to create this tassel to create a couple of more and just go along the edge, placing them every third space. So I'm going to do that and then I will meet you back here. I just finished all of my tassels. So I have 10 tassels all together. So I'm going to just do the exact same thing on the other side and we are finished. So enjoy your new scarf and thank you for watching.